Hello everyone, and what is going on? Hello everyone, and what is going on? Hyperion Blue GT here. Let's get ready to go for today's lap time challenge on Gran Turismo 7. Grand Valley South for the Wicked Fabrication GT51 is now ready up and go for having a best time go ejected in about a minute 17.370 seconds after being registered to the car index. So you see, the Wicked Fabrication GT51 is now being faced from the 1951 Ford Custom Club Coupe designed by the former racing driver Bruce Levin because this takes 10,000 hours to compete the 2016 Gran Turismo Award winner at the SEMA because this is going to be quite a very good chosen real car and even a professional tune car is now being entered to Gran Turismo 7. But it takes a lot of matter of hard work to see this most fine Ford Custom Club coupe just actually just get there and putting up to have these kinds of unique modification and different styles on the chassis. So I'm about to go for it and try it out and give it for a spin. But this time, the sports medium compound tires is now being set to be on the regulation along with the BOP slash tuning prohibited will be on the mid speed. Anything else that will have to go challenging to be on a south variation layout in Grand Valley Highway 1 to become as the reimagining version of the Grand Valley East. So let's enter it. All set and good to go to be on 372 horsepower and weight in 2,950 pounds. As always, if you're new to my YouTube channel, be sure click the subscribe button, then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos in the later future. Now it is time to get ready to go for the start of the time trial event. Let's begin. For only a classic car that turns into a professional tune car that is also to have a nice Ford vehicle to be turned into a Wicked Fabrication GT51. So I had to go down and get set to do a main part of the racing objective by having a helping hand will go for another time. So I had to go scroll down to search for any Gran Turismo players that has a replay icon by around a minute and 15 or 16 seconds it is going to get challenging and go harder. But it has all kinds of different livery variation, including one wing spoiler just like this one that has a monster themed livery on it. Well, I kind of think because it turns out to be very creative for every GT players to use this car that turns out to have a much more fine masterpiece. So here we have is Exosum that has a minute 16.293 seconds is going to get set and go serve to have a workout to be on the low ghost. I'm all set and just going to have to go on over and be prepared for this part of the lap time challenge in about over two hours left. But a little birdie just told me just going to be there on time for only one event to go remaining before at the end of the day. But the handling looks so very cool before going to have to go enter for this part of the lap time challenge will be doing challenging to go effort. But the speed handling is going to get more efficiency than I just but I cannot believe it this sound of the car engine is actually to becoming way good this nice old-fashioned Ford vehicle is actually did pretty well so here comes the lap time time it begins so I have to go enter to be on the first turn okay very good. It's about to go tricky to be on the main terrain, just like the original. Gonna have to go smooth paved. Just gonna have to go by exercise warm up before I'll have to go down to it to be on the advance. But on the inside of this interior for the Wicked Fabrication GT51. This one is so very much more fine classic that it's also to be turns out to become as a professional tuned car. But it's still got a lot of good 50 styles because this is going to be a good place to be here to be driving in the highway in America in the west coast. Much more fine handling. Style is doing good. 
and the chassis is now fully well modified ever since from the 2016 Gran Turismo Awards at SEMA. But this baby is quite very good to be driving off the hook. But so very impressive to see how this much fine detail view, but look at this. Whenever you see signs of different features is now being well designed to be well handled to be turns out exactly to become as a much more fine American road car to become as a tuned vehicle. So I had to get down to it because the main part of the lap time challenge is going to have to get challenging to go down the hill to be on the main part of the turns after finishing for only a minute 21.438 seconds. So that makes sector 1 clear. Now going to have to go for sector 2, do some tight turns and steady handling to do some breaking points so I have to be extra careful try not to go up the track for only one inch of the tire a very good card was actually to spend over 10,000 hours for only one person to come up with some best creative design for only Bruce Levin just actually just going to be built this car because the 1950s for Custom Club Coupe is actually to have a good style ever since to be made from the 1950s. No matter how Ford just actually to be building with some good ordinary road cars from the 1950s, but still have a lot of good popular to every part of the classic cars to this day, especially the Model T was actually to be first debuted in 1930s. So on to the dirt lap, gonna have to step it up and go inside to be well proceed. Gonna have to add up the torque because this has got a lot of good speed and Ah, okay, so very close. That brings an outcome result to be receive a penalty. Don't wanna make any scratches to be making a mistakes because that's how the reimagining version of Grand Valley East is now turns into a self variation. So hang on, just going to go by timeout and go by controller, adding up the torque onto 10 and retry to be on the new attempt. But don't worry because I'll have to make sure to have this replay to be saved after having some hard going attempt. Just for once and even the ghost best lap as well. Whoa. Looks like it might be quite very good to be increased a good amount of torque. So let's start over and get back to square one to resume a new lap time. Okay, wind direction is pretty calm. Slow down. Stay focusing on the main ghost car. Gonna have to keep this old dog to do some new tricks. Okay, slow down. Try not to do any impact on the walls or any barriers. Slowing down might be giving a poor distraction. Okay, there we go. Now for sector three. Just gonna have to keep driving to have a good line. Make that good pace. Enter the tunnel towards the final corner. Come on, just gonna have to keep going because you'll have to take one goal ejected at a time. So that makes a minute and 18.631 seconds. Okay, all safe and stable after on turn one. So down the hill to have the good inside line with no apex. Going back on sector two.
Okay, that's the ticket. Keep a good line on the distance. 0.3 seconds is now going significantly by the increase. Hold it steady. I hope this nice custom port is actually just going to keep a good handling and some more distance at the torque. So that's 0.4 seconds now being decreased. But there goes the same record at the time. 0.118. Okay, very good push. Almost a bit of power slide, but even it is going to be classed as an FR layout for this good old Ford. Hang on. It's about to get messy around for this part of the complex turn. Ah, the rat. No matter how classic cars can't even go making a best lap time to go improve. But I just did to do some research, but by, not, by my analysis, because the outcome just actually just gonna be ends up in the silver. Just like that, because different challenges comes in with some different perspective, with each part of the road car categories is now being labeled as a pro tune car. First time ever to see how professional tune car can actually just gonna have to go for the challenge is now perfectly in an American fictional racing circuit. So I have to go again for the fourth lap. Okay, way too much pressure. All I ever think of is having this part of the complex corner is very tricky. See? It gets me every time when I have to avoid a penalty. Just like that. It gets me a little bit goosebumps that I just really needs to be very extra careful. So I'm gonna have to go exit out and see how it turns out to be on the correction match. 13.2 miles for today's workout. That's only two sessions and going update to be well shown is now highlight in the green. Sector one in the dirt lap, 21.964 seconds and even for sector two and three in lap number two, 21.936 seconds and 34.194 seconds. Not good enough. Well, even for having a super position on the comparison world record in 4% in 20,030 a place. But still might need to keep working hard because this part of the first and second sector by the entrance and exit gives me a lot of hard time to think things through. Much, much, much later. All right, folks, let's try this again on attempt number three. But this time, a replay is about to be set to be included. So I just went down after putting up with some countless minutes and taking a lot of stress hard work to be mastered on every part of the turns in Grand Valley South. It takes matters of concentration, possibility, and low braking position on the inside of each part of the corners without getting caught in the penalty. So it takes matter of stress that I just took for myself before ending up for having a good progression record in one minute. 17.363 seconds is now going update and climb up to be on a goal. So, I just did that all by myself. Just gonna have to go for only one ghost card to do a helping hand by the assistant. But it takes matters of low breaking position when you're on sector two and three is all about just gonna have to try to keep your best and make your best time to go focusing hard in the gold medal. But very good choice to have a much more fine staple challenge to be on a maximum torque on the maintain and low braking is now doing a stability check. So there you go. Looks like 
one lap is now going harder and very challenging to do this part of the video segment. Alright, so good thing I just got one replay to be saved and best lap time as well. So here it is you guys, just in time in about 29 minutes and 13 seconds to go until the ranking registration is about to end. But after all, trying out with a Wicked Fabrication GT51 is so very good and brand new and putting up the half the classic style is now Will Beauty to be driving around in America's fictional racing circuit in the west coast. It was very good to try out with a Wicked Fabrication GT51 at Grand Valley South after clear from the previous lap time to go update from the 15 and going up in 16 on the gold medal position is now going well to be at 11,201st place to receive 2 million GT credits until moving on to take the next lap time challenge will be at Autopolis International Racing Course by using two versions in the Dolara SF23 Super Formula between Honda and Toyota. But good thing I just got one UDRS in Sportec livery will be set and good to go along with Saturday will be taking part in round 3 for the 2023 GTWS Nations Cup at D Forest Raceway. But we got some two events on the time trial and one for the championship event and adding up to have Banatic is now being part as a good partnership for Gran Turismo. But very good news and very excited for all Gran Turismo players is about to be set and go adding up to have the 8th time ever to be serving as a good valuable partnership. So let's wrap this up before at the end of the video. Gonna have to keep working on and just gonna have to get my mind to be focusing and go for the practice until Saturday will be set to be on the live stream from here until now. Encore content video will be on standby along with the rest after months of having some hard work progress from the exhibition series in the 2022-23 GTWS on the Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup from Season 4. It's going to be a long progress so I just really might need to do some hard labor when it comes to have some content video to do some lap time challenges. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS Libraries, Total Drama Fan Art with Card Libraries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be see you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.